Today we're joined by director, DJ, producer, drummer, and visionary D.W. Watterson. At the young age of 25, D.W. has made quite the impact here in Toronto, Canada. She's making her new work, the award-winning series, That's My DJ, where she connects her creative mind and her musical ambition. D.W. is also making a huge community here and inspiring others to follow their dreams. Now let's find out how D.W. anchors herself through her music. I had a chance to catch D.W. at her home studio. She prepared the biggest party Toronto has to offer, homebrew. We spoke about the power of creating a connection with the community, her most recent projects, and what it takes to be Hey DW. I just I want to make people move. Yeah, it needs to all be cut together. These are some really great shots. Yeah, it's cool. I'm excited. I'm excited because like I know my brand so well and right. I've been able to explore it and really like pull its muscles for the past three years. And right. now it's like finally a time where I'm like, okay, here we go. Here's like original music, original How do you music find videos. that? Like how do you find that original brand? Did you I just came out of me. Time, I always which is hilarious, reference back to the Spice Girls. It's like you take a personality. It's like Victoria Beckham isn't just like posh. Right. You know what I mean? That was a part of her, and then they just amplified it. Mm -hmm. So for Hey DW, I just kind of looked inside, and I was like, what do I want amplified when I'm at a concert? I'm like, I want to have fun. Like, none of this, like, I'm too cool, like, let's stand here and, like, my black everything, <laughs> and just, like, make everybody, like, dance, like, shuffle. Like, no, I want to have fun. Like, I want a sweaty, big dance party. Right. Well, how do I get people to do that? Well, I should be doing something on stage. And I wore a cheerleading uniform on Halloween. And everybody was like, who was that cheerleader DJ? Who was a cheerleader DJ? And I was like, huh, maybe I'll just wear a cheerleading uniform and DJ. And I did. But it's like cool figuring out who Hey, mm -hmm. hey DW right. is. Cause it's kind of like that alter ego persona, like Lady Gaga. It's like, how did you come up with Lady Gaga? And how do you, and there's like, it's like a character, a mm -hmm. character you're playing on television for like years and years. How do you make them grow? How do they become something different? So right. like, I kind of say Hey DW grows in dog years. So the first year she was like an infant and she's like, I just want to bang on drums and like wear my <laughs> uniform and like everything's great. And then year two, she was like 14 and puberty hit. And then, she, and then all of a sudden I felt this desire to make out with women on stage. And I was like, oh, I hey. guess ADW is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I could have guessed, but. Yeah, that's awesome. So I just got really sexual and like started to. Explore that yeah, area. Yeah, explore that area. And now I'm kind of like in year three. So I'm really starting to so be now like, you're okay. really getting comfortable with it. Yeah, I'm like polishing my brand and like trying different outfits on and learning how to really engage with my audience. God. So what motivates you to really make your music and like write your music? I just, I want to make people move, you know, like, <laughs> it's quite simple. So I want to make, <laughs> make you move, but you know, those songs where you're like at the club and this something comes on, it's not like bullshit top 40 radio, mm -hmm. it just like has this f***ing bass and all of a sudden your pelvis is just like, uh, and you Bumping. basically want to f***, like yeah. that's the music I want to make, like I want to make music like where that. people are just want... like, that makes people want to like, or go like, go, like go crazy. They're like, I can't even control myself. We gotta right leave. Now. We gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> because all... it's great when people lose their inhibitions and they're just like having fun and you look at, you know, you look all around the club and I want people like go nuts. Like those are the best parties when people are just like, I don't Absolutely. care, I'm gonna climb this. When and all the walls are loose. Yeah. 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 All the walls are broken down. That's good. Yeah. Like that. And it's uh, making original music as a way to amplify like my live performances right now. So it's like people can have that song be like, oh, I love this video. I really want to go see your live. And then they come live and they're just like, oh shit. Like this is like, oh, this is a show. Like, mm -hmm. This is like something I want to come back to. And the great thing about being a DJ is every time new music comes out, I incorporate it into my set. So I'm not like an artist where it's like, I have to perform this new album. And right. then when that new album is like dry, I'm like, oh fuck, what do I do? I'm like, nah, like, new new song came out yesterday, I can play it. So I can like, can, I'm always fresh. So your end goal is to really create festivals and then create this new, is it a new genre of music that you want to create? Not really. Um, I think it's just important to see women on the stage mm -hmm. and to see women on the stage like, 
beating the shit out of a drum kit and like right. being aggressive and not necessarily just being like, oh, look, like I'm wearing a short skirt and like I can press buttons, you know? Mm-hmm. There's all different types of women and I feel that it's important to, to see that and see somebody who's passionate and to kind of bring the directing in and the film in and the music in and the live performance. Like they all kind of go hand in hand for me. So to okay. see them interacting and... That's cool. Yeah. That's what we were wondering is if DJing or writing music it kind of goes hand in hand with directing, producing, and writing because mm. you're doing it all. Yeah. So we wanted to know if that was something that it goes hand in hand and how does that affect your daily life and what that does for you. It's crazy using my brain okay. in this way. I'm it's sure. very like responding to a gig, setting a gig up, and then like I'll be in here and I'll edit and then I'll like go on set, direct something, and then at night go and DJ a gig. And then the next day I'm like on calls with LA like trying to like pitch stuff so it's very like all-encompassing but what I like about it is I'm not bored right I find if I'm doing the same thing for too long I get bored I'm like yeah okay I play play drums like I play drums (laughs) it's cool it's nice to kind of always challenge myself I always feel challenged right so I'm always getting better that's awesome yeah so would you say there's one thing that's your anchor so an anchor is something that it kind of keeps you motivated, hungry, and driven Mm -hmm. in order to get better as an individual and also just to motivate you to get better at your crafts. Mm -hmm. So is there one specific area of your life that really takes the cake for that? Or like is it DJing, maybe drumming, or could it be even just producing something? I think it's the effect and the connection I can have with somebody, whether it be on the drums, DJing, or through my web series. I think that's what really gets me is Mm -hmm. the fact with like, a fan not even a fan like just like a human connection it's just like you know what i was having a shit day but when i came and i saw you in this bar i felt so alive and i feel so much better like that's that's like it's putting good energy into the world and same with the series i've had like a lot of feedback from girls who were just like oh like i felt like i couldn't come out and now i can because that's that's my dj season two or now a lot of people are talking about like substance abuse and they kind of see it in their friend but they don't know what to do about it Mm -hmm. uh, because of that's my dj season three so i think being being able to just be a presence and be positive and kind of have that communication with people so like be good so you're more about connections. Yeah. So you really want to help connect and connect with people yeah. and be a sign of hope for them. Yeah. Yeah. And just like bring our voices together and it's kind of crazy, crazy times in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So Especially. I think, you know, being positive and strong, but also Absolutely. vulnerable mm-hmm. uh, and bringing people together. I think it's really important. After talking to DW, I had to go check out Homebrew for myself. So I headed down to Kensington to see what all the rage was about. What's up guys, we're here at Homebrew. My girl DW is about to put on a clinic for us. She's gonna put on a show, it starts at 10.30. Stay tuned. Hanging out with DW was an incredible experience. I mean, she really inspired me to make an impact on others' lives and make a connection with someone. And she's done that here through the community of Toronto, Canada. So this week, I want to challenge you guys. Go make a connection. You know, share your ideas with someone else and rise together. Make sure you guys are hashtagging Anchor Challenge. That way we can check it out.